We are so proud and honored to have 10,000 meter Olympic gold medal winner Billy Mills with us today. Years ago, October 14th, 1964, starting at 4.30 in the afternoon, I laid footprints on Mother Earth on a cinder muddy track in Tokyo, Japan that forever altered my life and presented me with some incredible challenges. The facilities here, the arts, music, dance, creative writing, reading, sports, can better prepare our young people for the challenges they'll face in life than just about anything they can do at a young age. And this facility here will have young people, Native American young men and women, go through there, who will exit, and they will lay their footprints on Mother Earth that will forever change our travel nations for the better, change the United States of America for the better. And I just want to take a few moments to know where we need to support them, the young people here. We need to teach them the footprints that were laid on Mother Earth long before ours started making an impression on the soil. So I would love all of our young people to Google to learn about several things. The Doctrine of Discovery, Manifest Destiny, Treaty Signed, Treaties Broken, Executive Order, We Need More Land to Build Dams, Statutes, Too Much Time Has Gone By, You Cannot Sue Us, Slavery, Jim Crow, the new Jim Crow, the drug zone, war on drugs, all designed to make our young people of color felons. We don't teach that. We need to teach it. We need to empower our facilities. I need to empower by making our young people aware of the past as well as choreographing their dreams, their passion to choreograph the horizon of our future. So very briefly, the doctrine of discovery. It's not an attack on Jesus Christ. It's not an attack on Christianity. But it basically says, courtesy of the Vatican, May 4th, 1493, any new lands found can only belong to the first Christian monarch that discovers them. And the inhabitants, the pagan, must submit to Christianity and they upon landing on upon us landing on their shores they must commit they must submit to our laws our religion our songs our dance and none of theirs will apply and they must submit to Christianity but then it was quickly realized that we submitted to Christianity we can own land the number one ingredient for participating in the free enterprise system. So we had no souls. Two years ago, Pope Francis in Washington, D.C., in New York City, made the priest who said we had no souls a saint. That priest was made a saint because he wanted some of the perks. California women tried to get the Pope, and he eventually said it was a mistake, the doctrine of discovery, to admit publicly it was a mistake. We then became victims of genocide. What is the United States of America? 12 to 23 million Indian people. At the end of the wars, 250,000 survived. The most devastating genocide of humanity occurs in the Americas. We should never forget those footprints. Our young people who graduate who walk from these facilities to start laying their footprints on Mother Earth need to know their past to design their future and collectively, collectively, we choreograph the horizon of our future. Sport, music, dance, creative writing, etc. can better prepare young people for the challenges they'll face later in life than anything they can do now. And I'll close with this. Never in the history of our country 
Never in the history of our tribal nations, never in our history as citizens of tribal nations, citizens of the United States of America, has the need for our governments, federal, state, and tribal governments, along with our marketplace, collectively choreograph our journey into the horizon of the future, the future of the American Indian children will play major roles in determining the role we play as an indigenous people, the balance of the 22nd century. These facilities are vital. They're needed because they will help our young people find the passion, develop the passion, bring the passion together, and boom, create the magic. Hey. And one or two of the magical things they create will be looked upon as a miracle. You are helping with facilities. Our young people create the magic and create the miracles. Thank you.